Welcome back, sweet friends. How are you doing today? I hope everyone's summer is going well. I hope you're having a lot of fun and enjoying all that sunshine. I know I am. So I had promised you that we were going to do a vintage thrifting haul and I found a few more items to go in my home that I wanna share with you. Now, before I start sharing these items, guys, I want to uh, just let you know that I did a collaboration. I love doing collaborations with some of my YouTube friends that have YouTube channels. I love that. But as far as products, guys, I'm just not too sure. I don't want my channel to be an infomercial, if you know what I mean. I have seen uh, some YouTubers that is become more of an infomercial, and that's what they're doing is promoting uh, products that's sent to them for free. Now, you've seen that I did the one on the toaster. I really didn't want that toaster. However, I made the promise to do the product and I did it the best way that I knew how in my country style. <laughs> so anyway, I hope they're pleased with it, but I don't want my channel to be an infomercial and you all were not coming on to see uh, infomercials on my channel. You're coming on to visit with me, chit chat, or see some decorating. So I wanna keep it that way. I mean, not to say that if somebody reaches out with some fantastic product uh, that, you know, I won't consider it, but I just don't want a lot of, you know, little things. I mean, everybody, like I said, a toaster is a toaster, but I wouldn't spend $200 on the toaster. Not that theirs was $200, but, you know, as much as I use a toaster, but enough about that. Hey, sweet friends, I want to take a moment. I've got a new channel shout out, and this is uh, Tanya Moore, and I love it when people's uh, YouTube channels pop up, and it, she has lots of motivating, decorating, organizing, some shopping hauls, if this is your kind of stuff, but go over and say hello to her. She even shares an occasional recipe, but she has been working hard at her YouTube channel for nine months. And so go over and say hello and introduce yourself and let her know that I sent you and say hello to Tanya and we welcome her to our YouTube family. Let's get on with the haul. So I'm gonna rattle some bags and I'm gonna show you what I found. Uh, one of the items I'm just gonna post up here cause I've already put it up in my kitchen and I needed one more small aqua ball jar. Is it aqua or green? But anyway, I needed one to go in my craft cheese box. So let's go ahead and get started. Now we went back to Somerset, which is about an hour from us. There was something my husband wanted. And I'm gonna show a picture. Guys, I passed this crock up. It was a number 20. So I went back and I'm like, if it's there, I'm gonna get it. Well, it wasn't there, but a 15 was in its place. Now guys, I can't lift that thing. So I'm gonna post a picture and show it to you, but I got all my stuff in it right here, over here on the floor. But I did find that number 15 and I want to put, what I wanna do with it is put a tree in it for the different seasons. And it's either gonna be back here by my bench or over on the new wall that the door was removed. So I want to show you what I found. I've left all the tags on everything so I can um, remember how much they were. Now these aren't vintage guys, but these are homemade and these are ad adorable. 
These are little homemade pumpkins and they had $6.99. So for $7, I know they're homemade. I would love, I don't want to take it apart, but I would love to find out how to make some of these and make some for my home and maybe make some for you in the fall. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was some upcoming giveaways. Now the next one is for fall and I am working on another rag quilt, but I would also love to work on some pumpkins too. So here is two, $6.99 for each. How adorable are those? That one is in a gray check and this one is in a gray plaid. Not sure where I'm gonna put them this fall, but how adorable. Maybe on my scales up in my kitchen, we'll see. But I couldn't pass those up. I, you know I love homemade stuff, but I will definitely find a place for these. It's got little jute string on the stem. It's got a little burlap leaf and some jute string dividing up the pumpkin sections. And you can see up close a little bit of hot glue. That's how I know these are handmade. So I just love them. I know they're not the typical orange pumpkins, but uh, I love them in the gray. This next item, guys, I have been looking for these for a couple of years. And I've I seen someone on YouTube several people decorate with these in the fall and i just love them and when i checked out i only found one and it's a it's a gourd and this one was four dollars and 23 cents a long neck gourd and when i checked out i told the lady i was hoping that i could find some more she said the lady in that booth did have a bunch, but someone just came through two days ago and bought them up. So I'm really hoping, I mean, look at that. I just, I love the way that looks. And for the fall season, how, how adorable is that gonna be? So yeah, I'm hoping to find some more. You can actually hear the seeds in there. Another thing I found, and I know this one is vintage. It is all rusted up. Here is the handle. And it is a rug beater. I'm not too happy with the rust on it. I don't want it, you know, rubbing off on my wall. So I am gonna clean this up just a little, but I got this for $9.95, an antique rug beater and I love it. Now guys, I I know I, I paid a little bit for this. I paid $18 for this, but I wanted one in my kitchen. It is, uh, I guess it's an old meat or cheese slicer. Let's see what it says. Oh, it says it's an antique cabbage slicer. So you guys let me know what you know about it, but I have seen them displayed and I have an idea for this, where I want it to go in my kitchen, but this one looked great. I love the wood look on it, just the aged, and let me show you the back. This is, I mean, look at that old wood. I'll, I'm not gonna do a thing to it. Um, even though this little bar here is rusted, I'm gonna leave it as it is. This next item is vintage. It's a little tattered. For $12.95, it is a vintage chalkboard. It's got the little rustic chain on the top. And you can see it's a little tattered, but I love it. I will try to just clean up the chalkboard a little, but everything else, uh, I just love the natural look of the, the old wood. And it is on both sides. $12.95, and I can do so much with this, especially in the new area, the credenza area, when I get that done. So, or around my bench, I could do around my bench also. Another thing I found, and I've been looking just periodically for these guys, 
it's the uh, old wooden spoons. Now this one doesn't look old, but it is thicker than the ones that they make these days. And this one was just uh, $2, but I love the shape of it. And you can see it's a little thicker than most. I don't know, that one might have been hand carved, handmade, but I just love the shape of it. And I'll continue to um, find some, and then I'll put them all together uh, when I get them, when I get uh, quite a few of them. So $2 for that. Yeah. There's one lady that does a farmhouse booth there where we go, and I think she might have painted this, but I did really like it. I, it's a large standing hen, and it, it was um, marked at $10, and I just love the fatness of this hen. I mean, how cute is she? And for to go in my kitchen or on my hutch, she can just stay out year round. And I think she did a little distressing on it. I'm not sure what it was, or maybe it was uh, made and sold that way, but I just love it. It's got a little bit of a gray paint and it, you can see all the brush, brush strokes in it, but I fell in love with her for $10. This little item. I have not seen one like this, guys. It says it's an old masher with a wood handle for $4.69. Now here is, let me show, here's the handle. Now it says it's rapid potato masher and beater. And then here is, look how thick that is, guys. But I'm gonna put that with my other one and I'll start a collection. But uh, one of the ladies, I'm gonna post her name. She watches my channel all the time and she uh, she's just so loyal about leaving comments. But she had told me that she had seen somebody take the little potato mashers and add little pumpkins in the fall as decoration. So I'm gonna run with that idea. I think it's a cute idea and I can't wait to do that. So yeah, I went ahead and got this little potato masher. Never seen one like it. Tell me in the comments uh, if you've seen your mom or grandmother or someone use these in the past because I never seen them. Maybe they're not that quite that old. I don't know, but it is very, very uh, thick metal, so it's not going to bend up or anything. But anyway, it's a little different, and I like that. Guys, you have to help me on this one. This is a brown ball jar. I don't like the lid on it but I have never seen them in brown. Let me know if you have. I mean, is this something new that they brought out recently or is this actually a vintage jar? Uh, it's in the brown amber and I don't, like I said, I don't like this lid. It's, I think it's a wide mouth, but it's got, uh, it's got the little harvest fruit on the on the back and on the front it does says a ball so let me know what you know about this guys because i don't know we fell in love with it so they wanted five dollars for it so i'm going to put that with um with my collection uh, even if it's not vintage or old i love the color i'm going to add it to my collection it'll be old one day <laughs> this next item guys is not it's not vintage, but I love the little house collections. This one was $3 and I just thought I would add it to mine and it, you know, it would make a great display on my hutch or my credenza when I get it done. And this could be used during the holidays, winter months, but I don't have one like this. So for $3, I'm gonna add this one to my collection. 
Okay, guys, you know I'm a sucker for candles, especially when they're $4.98, uh, not $24.98. But this, I came up on a booth that had some of these little candles. It's just small, and it was only $2. But I want to show you, I thought, this is just so cute. It's called Home Corner Sewy Candle and cotton blossom hand poured premium scented small batch eight ounces and it was two dollars but look how cute that label is guys how cute i love it i love it and i'm sure i'll find a spot and eventually i'll probably burn that candle but i just loved it for that label that's just too cute. So guys, that is all that I have for this vintage haul uh, this round. We may do some more shopping uh, before, you know, fall is over with. And I can't wait to start decorating with some of this stuff. So guys, if you stayed with me this long through the video, I appreciate it. And you know, I appreciate you coming back. And if you're new here, my name is Rebecca. My husband's name is Larry. We are empty nesters, and I just love sharing my home, my, decorating my home. So thank you again for being here, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope that God blesses your day, your week, and your year. So until my next video, guys, thanks for being here, and I'll see you then. Bye.